Hello, everybody. I hope all of y'all are having a good day today. Um, our Wi-Fi has been off all day here. Uh, life in the jungle is, is very difficult at times. It is not easy. It's just this climate is something else. And on top of all that, my daughter, Linda, has an ear infection. <clears throat> I've started putting drops in her ears, and uh, I feel like I'm starting to catch something down in my chest. Um, my daughter, Linda, has severe asthma. She has to use a rescue inhaler about once a day. And um, uh, the air con in our truck stopped working today. Uh, she can handle the heat, but what she can't handle is all the pollutants outside. And um, most of the cars and things like that here in the Philippines don't have the same pollution standards as they do in the West. And so uh, uh, driving with the windows down triggers her asthma. So I got to figure something out to get this air con fixed quick. And, and it, it's hard to get stuff like that done over here because it's, it's not like you can just go down to... Uh, Pep Boys parts store <laughs> and grab the parts you need. You have to travel all over the island and go through piles and piles of parts and hope you find the one, right one or find one kind of similar to it and make it work. We call it Filipino engineering over here. Um, so I've got to do that. I, I, I've got to get something done to that so I can get it, get it I've going. I've got a lot of things that I want to do videos about, but uh, right now uh, I'm going to be a little overwhelmed with trying to get stuff done around here. And um, so, uh, but I do have some things on my mind that, that I want to talk about and uh, uh, to do videos on, and I'm excited about that. I, I want to thank all you guys out there, my subscribers. Um, you know, uh, here recently I, I've gained about 150 new subscribers and, and 99% of you guys are amazing. I've only gotten a few religious spirits uh, out of that, and most of them have already unsubscribed and left now. And, and um, But I, I am just so amazed at how far along that God has taken you guys. I, um, You know, the comments that I'm receiving now, because I talk about some deep, deep, deep stuff and, and you guys are getting it, you're soaking it up and you're like, yeah, and you guys are getting revelations and, and are, are uh, sharing them. You know, when I first got started on YouTube 12 years ago, even, even eight years ago, I couldn't share the things that I share now because people were not ready. I mean, they would just jump all over you and just, it's, it's insane. And I just knew one day, one day people, it would start clicking in people. That, that's the way it was with me. You know, when, when I first became born again after June 14th of 2012, if you would have came to me talking about the stuff that I'm talking about now, I would have gotten scared away. I, I would have been, it wasn't that, that you know, <clears throat> that I wasn't hearing from the Spirit, but I wasn't ready for that kind of meat yet, all right? I had to go through, I had to go through the fire, all right? You know, it's written that, that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And, you know, everybody thinks that, that it means they overcame him. They think that's the devil or Satan, this guy with horns, you know. That word actually means themselves. They overcame themselves. They got over themselves by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Meaning they always went back to their testimony. That's what I did. When I first got started on YouTube, I started off, I shared my testimony about God's love. And before I knew it, I got wrapped up in all the debating on this, that, and all kinds of stuff that I got caught up with religious spirits and I got just as bad as the rest of them, dishing it out as, as much as it was dished to me. And, uh, you know, I forgot about the one thing that saved me and that was love. I got distracted. See that, that, that verse when it talks about when perfection comes, that word perfection there means to, to come full circle, all right? See, God puts us out here in this boat. We have to go through this initiation. 
all right? And, and you get out there, you were saved by love, all right? And he puts you out there. He's not going to let you sink. He's not going to let you... He, not going to let you have anything that you can't handle. No temptations you can't handle, okay? But it's hard. And you get out there and, and you get to fighting with all this stuff. And I remember I got to a point and I was like, Lord, what am I going to do? And he just told me, go back to love. Love is what saved you, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Once I got over myself, stopped debating and fighting with people, all right, and I went back to love. These revelations just started flooding in. I mean, deep, deep, deep stuff. And I was like, oh, wow. But I had to get over myself. I overcame him themselves by the blood of the lamb, and the word of their testimony. And everybody who has a testimony, they are beloveds. That means they have experienced God's love. They all have the same common thing. They have all experienced God's love, and God's love is what changed them. All right? Everybody has to go. You have to come full circle, and you have to go back to love. So now I, I, I see a lot of you guys out there that have went through the same thing as me, and it's cool. And, and um uh, you know, I see a lot of people out there who used to probably used to debate with me and go back and forth. It wasn't that, that they weren't called or anything like that. It was just that we were at different stages in our walk, okay? But eventually, we all come around, all right? And there's people out there right now, you know, that, that come at me pretty hard. And eventually... If they're one of God's, if they have experienced God's love, God will get them where they need to be. All right, that's why we have to have the fruit of the Spirit. And one of the biggest part of the fruit of the Spirit is patience. <laughs> we got to have patience because we were all there at one time. Wasn't a single one of us born again, and in that instant, we knew absolutely everything. Now, all the information, everything that we needed to know was within us, but we wasn't ready for it, all right? We wasn't ready for it yet because we still needed to get over ourselves. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just uh, always try to remember that, that not everybody is where you're at and um, some are farther along. Some are a little bit more behind. So don't be so quick to call people um, deceived or anything. Because things that you may not even be willing to even give a little bit of thought to right now, in two years from now, you're going to be going, oh, I get it. Okay? <laughs> I understand that. All right? You're just not ready for it yet. Anyway, I, I wanted to share that with you guys because... Uh, there's not very many of us, and we need each other. And we got to stop fighting over little bitty things and um, just go back to love. And once you go back to love, you'll get over yourselves. I love you all. God bless.